Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here, the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of an x plus 2 over an x squared plus x minus 2, and we have to evaluate this limit. Now, one of the first things I notice here is I want to try to factor out this denominator, see if something happens here. So we take the limit as x approaches a negative 2 from the left. We have an x plus 2 in the numerator, but the denominator factors out to be an x plus 2 times an x minus 1. And so it's a little easier to see that these x plus 2s cancel, and really here, the limit here, as x approaches a negative 2 from the left, is really just of 1 over an x minus 1. Now we know it doesn't exist right at negative two, right? From here we could see, plug that in, we're divided by zero, can't do that. But with this simplification here, it kind of makes it a little easier for us, we can directly plug it in. This is what we call a distractor. And initially we would try and say, okay, we're going towards, uh, we're divided by zero, so it has to be some infinity. But when that, fact, when that simplifies out, we don't have that anymore, it's a distractor. And so we actually can, directly plug it in now, and we know what it's approaching. We know it can't equal ne at negative two, but we can see what it's actually approaching. So I'm gonna plug negative two in for x here. We have a one over in, uh, negative two minus one. And what happens here? Well, one over negative two minus one is, well, one over negative three, or a negative one third. And we actually can see that with a table here. So I'm making a little table here, and I've calculated some values for you. And we're going to see what happens if we approach negative 2 from the left. I'm going to put some values in, and we'll approach negative 2 from the left here. Negative 3 goes in, we get a negative 0.25. A negative 2.5 in for x, we get a negative 0.2857. Negative 2.1 in for x, a negative 0.326, uh, and these are all approximate. And then negative 2 point, how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 1, I tried. And we had a negative 0 0.3333. And we can see as we get closer to negative 2 from the left side, we're really approaching negative 1 third. And we saw that there. And so this limit here is a negative 1 third. And that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.